welcome today we are stating ways in which the church is contributing to the economic well-being of the society then we also state ways in which unfair distribution of wealth can lead to social disorder there then lastly we give reasons why christians are against the death sentence ways in which the church is contributing to the economic well-being of the society number 1 the church encourages members to pay taxes the church condemns vices that undermine economic development the church provides employment opportunities it runs training institutions where individuals acquire skills for self employment it is involved in the development of infrastructure it is involved in rural development it offers charitable services to the needy it preaches the gospel in conducive environmental economic growth prays for the members of the society the church lobbies the government to provide incentives to local investors this is basically whereby the church lobbies the government by trying to influence the local investors by arousing motivation or encouraging them the church also run cooperative schemes where members get loans to improve their businesses ways in which unfair distribution of wealth can lead to social disorder in the society today number 1 it causes hatred or anger leads to strained relationship between the government and the people leads to strikes or demonstrations or basically we just call it call it industrial action leads to sexual exploitation or rather you can just call it immorality widens the gap between the rich and the poor leads to regional clashes or ethnic clashes creates dissolution or rather it creates discontentment and even sometimes it creates apathy among the people it can lead to murder or violence it also makes those who have look down upon those who don't so those who have these are the rich they, they look down upon those who don't that the poor it forms a basis for oppression of the poor by the rich reasons why christians are against the death sentence the law of god forbids killing killing does not reform the offender death sentence is irreversible that is in case an innocent person is killed so it's if you cannot reverse it life is sacred but you can just say life belongs to god the offender's rights as a human being is undermined as he or she is used as a means to deter others it is against god's principles of forgiveness it undermines christian virtue of love human judges are not perfect it can be misused by those in power to instill fear or to discourage people and also maybe to eliminate others And lastly the victims dependence that is basically the victim's family is denied a chance to be with their loved one finally add more points in the conversation and let me know what you think about today's video and what video i can look at tomorrow thanks a lot for subscribing and listening to me god bless you